In this video, I'm going to talk about CIS 18A Lab 5 Exercise 4, which goes over in a phase and implementation of a class. So we can use a file that doesn't have a body to be able to interface with another Java file. Um, and the other Java file would require the keyword implement to access the methods in the other file. So to start, what we need is we need to have the series.java file. And in the series.java file, you can find this in the notes in the textbook. Um, I will modify the lab to include this. But in the series.java file, it would have the public and it says interface series. And in it, simply we state the methods that we want to utilize. Then in the second file, the second file we would call this the by twos.java. And by twos.java um, is what given in the code in the actual lab itself. So we would have start and val, those will be integers. And we would have start at zero, val at zero, and we would have it added by two and return the value. So notice that here we want to specify the public for each of the method because now you're having two different classes working together and they need to be accessible. Then next, we would have reset and we would point back to start and remember we initialize that at zero here and so the value it's going to point back to start for the reset which is just going to go back to the beginning at zero then for the set start we're going to point to int x and with the x what we're going to do is we're going to go to a specific value for this now in the second class <coughs> series demo series demo contain the main method and we would have an by twos type with the object call ob and here is the new by twos which is what we would say that that will be the constructor then for the for loop we would we would go up to five and we would start at zero and we would print the value and we we call on get next with the object there so what we're going to do is it's going to increment by by adding two in each one and it's going to loop it up to from zero to four so after that we're going to reset and again, you see the object being used here with the reset method. And we would have another for loop. And in this for loop, we would state the next value is, and that's going to bring in the next value in that particular set. So now for the set start, our x here is passed as 100, and we would go we would implement the for loop again and we would utilize the get next so after you have this program created you're going to go file save as and i can simply put it on desktop and i want to call this by 2java and recall that we have the series file so you need these two file together so we want to go file save as and we want to call this series .java. now technically you should put this into the series folder and then you would point to the path of the series folder to be able to create it or if for this lab you can simply put both of these files on the desktop so after we have the file created in our text editor we simply go to the location of the file and we would issue the command java c to compile and recall that the 
we have two files series.java and by twos.java so we want to compile by twos.java with series.java because they they go together as you have them as interface and implementation so once you successfully compile with no error then you would run the program and going back to the code if you know we in the main we're using series dot series demo so we need to utilize this to be able to run so we would do a java command and we would say series demo and our program outputs as you know here that it the next value is two and it's going to add two so it's four add two so it's six eight and ten and then reset it goes back to the zero again so it's have two four six eight ten and when it starts instead of zero it plays in that 100 it's going to start at 100 it's going to add two so we have 102 104 and 106 108 and 110 okay so to really summarize this number one you need to have the series.java file together with the by twos.java file and in the series this one doesn't really have a body it simply is just an abstract class and you can utilize this to be able to interface so um, and then on the second file it's the by twos file and in this one it, it has the body um, it has also the main so under the series demo this is the class main and that's what you would use to be able to run the program so we would save this program as class by two so because it's by twos we would save it as a by twos.java and we would use series demo to run so what we would have here is that we would compile two files together as long as they're in the same location meaning that if they're both on the desktop you simply cd to desktop and then you would compile these two files together once they're compiled successfully then we would we would create run 